Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's been a minute. Happy New Year. Come on in. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Let me see. Come on in and say hello. If you're a man, put in a number one. If you're a woman, put in a number two. And say hello. Happy New Year. I'm going to come on here and teach real quick. Hurt some feelings. Step on some toes. Step on some toes. How many of y'all got New Year's resolutions? Hey, hey, I see y'all coming in. Hey, Dana. Hey, hello, hello. The We Beulah Production. Hello, I see you. I see y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to be real quick with this. Hey, EFT5 Fitness. I see you. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Riley. I see y'all coming in. Hey, Ricky. Hey, 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 hey. Happy New Year. We made it. We made it to 2023. Now, let's let's kill 2023. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this, okay? So I just want to come on here. Everybody has... um. New Year's resolutions. I don't believe in resolutions. I believe in setting goals and crushing them and doing what I need to do to get to them. And this year, I want to give you the message, each and every one of y'all, stop playing a victim. Everybody is saying, giving all of these tips and all of this about relationships and love and who's doing this person. Stop playing a victim. A long time ago, I used to play the victim too. Everybody's doing something to me. Nobody's helping me. Nobody owes you anything. My mother told me that a long, long time ago. She said, don't nobody owe you nothing. Not even an apology. This is what my mother told me many years ago. I probably was about 22 years old and I didn't get it then, but I get it now. So stop playing a victim. If you don't like something, stop doing it. If you don't like the way someone is treating you, stop allowing them to be in your space. If you don't like someone, stay away from them. Stop playing the victim. If you don't like your job, get another one. Stop playing the victim. That's all I'm here to tell y'all on January 1, 2023. You are not a victim, at least not the second time right? You might be a, a victim the first time somebody does something to you. You might be a victim because the job description was a good job description. And now they got you doing 999 things that is not part of your roles and responsibilities. However, you are not a victim. You see what it is. So if you don't like the job, go get you another one. I ain't saying quit your job today, but I'm saying have a plan. If you don't like it, get out of there. Stop playing the victim. No one this is what I know for sure about me and about you. No one has authority over your life but you. So if anything is going wrong in your life, and I mean this sincerely and dearly, and some things will be out of our control, but for the most part, I'm talking about the things that we control, like people, places, and things. If something is going wrong in your life in those three areas and you have control over it, stop playing a victim because it's you. If that man ain't treating you right, please stop listening to these men screaming on social media and all of this hoopla that you want to hear and leave him alone. If that woman ain't treating you right, leave her behind right where she's sitting, brothers. Leave her alone. If she don't want to do her wifely duties or what is required of her to be in a relationship with you, leave her. You ain't the victim, brother. I'm sorry, I got to tell my brothers in 2023, some things is about to change. I was talking to a wonderful man last night, a really good friend of mine, her husband. I'm going to interview him on the Men Hurt 2 podcast. We was having a really good conversation. And some of these men that I want to bring into the circle on this TikTok with these 38,000 men over here, because I want my brothers to win and I want them to understand that they get to make choices and whoever don't like it too bad. Whoever don't like it too bad, they are out here yelling and hooping and hollering to us as women. Do this, do that, leave him alone. Stop messing with these broken men. Y'all need to stop talking about bad about your baby's mama. Stop talking bad about your baby daddy. You picked him. You were no victim then and you ain't no victim now. Nobody can do anything to you unless you allow them to. This is what I'm sending you into 2023 on the first day of this year to get you where you need to go. Stop playing the victim. 
if you make that your mantra for the year, I will not play the victim anymore. Any people, places, or things that don't serve me anymore will no longer have access to me or I will not go to those people, those places, or those things myself. Because truth be told, sometimes we the problem. Sometimes we chasing him or her. It ain't them, it's us. Things. Sometimes we holding on to stuff. Bad habits, smoking, drinking, out here spending all your money on the week on an apple martinis and complaining about why you can't pay your bills. You not a victim, you a volunteer. You drinking too many apple martinis or you buying too many cigars, my brother. Cigars is an expensive smoking habit. I'm just saying, you ain't the victim. You ain't managing your money right. Self, me, I don't manage my money well. That's not my expert, expert space. So I, I'll send you to an expert that'll tell you what to do. Let go of them habits, them people, them places, and them things that are holding you back. And you're pretending to be the victim. You are not the victim. You have control over your life. Hey, I see y'all coming in. Let me say this, and I'm going to be real brief because I'm getting ready to get off of here. You are where you are based on your choices. Some of y'all don't want to hear the truth. Some of y'all love to play the victim because that has become your identity and it lets you escape accountability. Well, I'm here to tell you 2023, I'm here to be all about accountability for you to help you get from where you are to where you're trying to go. Because playing a victim ain't getting you nowhere. It's giving you a little buzz and a little high for a little while, but then you stuck in the same place blaming people, places, and things that you have the power and the authority to get away from or to cut off, let go, move on, and do better for yourself. You are not the victim, you are a volunteer. And you are where you are based on your choices. If I am in a bad relationship with a man, and he's treating me bad, I don't need a relationship expert. I don't need none of these hooping and holler male, whatever, gurus, whatever they want to call themselves, to tell me that. I don't need nobody to tell me I need to be treated better. If I'm in a bad relationship with anybody, family, friends, any of those people, man, it's me. It's not them. No, you're not going to treat me bad. No, you're not going to talk to me like that on the job, wherever it is. No, you're not. Sorry, not sorry. You got to get out of here. Now, if I'm staying there, I am a volunteer to poor behavior from anybody. Nobody gets to treat me any kind of way. Let me tell you all something about 2023 for me. I'm going to get mine this year. I'm I, oh, I want all mine, all of it, and I'm going to get it. You know how I'm going to get it? I'm going to go over, around, or through. People, places, or things. And if you get in my way, I'm going to go over, around, or through you because I'm not playing because I know who I am. I know what I possess. I know my gifts, and I know my talents, and I know my purpose. So if you get in my way, I'm going to steamroll you respectfully. Respectfully. But move. What ludicrous say is it ludicrous move? Get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> Happy New Year. Be a victim or choose to be a survivor. We ain't even survivors over here, honey. We thrivers. We don't survive. We no, we thrivers over here. You a victim or a volunteer or a thriver. We thrive. We we not surviving. Get out the way. We old enough to know what we want, what we don't want, who we want, how we supposed to be treated. If we are adults, we know right from wrong. We taught that when we're kids. So we're going to stop playing all these games on social media with all these people screaming victimhood and all of this common sense. Y'all don't have common sense to know that somebody is supposed to treat you with respect. But it's a privilege to be in my life. And guess what? Nobody don't owe me nothing. But let me tell you what I owe myself. I owe myself. to. I, owe my, I got to tell people what I deserve. And I have to stand my ground and say, I deserve respect. So I owe myself the advocacy to tell people what you not going to do. You going to respect me. You're going to be loyal. You're going to support me. We're going to be like-minded or you're not going to be in my space. And that's all I came on here to say today. A lot of y'all, 
If you listen to me right now, just listen to me and say, I am not a, I am not a victim. I am not a victim. I am not a victim. I can do, be, have, or go anywhere I want to. I am not a victim in 2023. Nobody's stopping me. If I got to go over through it or around it, I will get to it. Nobody can stop me but me. Yes, I am single. Yes, I am. Let me read some of y'all comments. Y'all know I can't see without my glasses. Tell us if it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Sometimes you got to look in the mirror and say it's me. Speak on it. That's facts. Yes. Hey there. Hey. Sorry. Hello, queen. Hello. 18 years of my job. Racism has changed the way I thought white people was around me. Trump, really? Oh, I'm, I know, honey. Thank you for I spoke that along, but I kept to world things. Preach, pretty lady. Yep. So that's all I wanted to come on here and tell y'all today. Happy 2023. Yes, Dana. Dana, every day. If you got to write it on a wall in your house, if, it's, if you own a home, and you could write on the walls. If you got to write it on a sharp with a sharpie. If you need to write it on sticky notes all over your house, I need you to have the the mentality of I am not a victim. And you're gonna have to remind just I'm not. You're gonna have to remind yourself over and over again. I'm not a victim. This person at my job is treating me this way because I'm allowing them to. This person in my house is treating me this way because I'm allowing them to. I am not speaking up for myself. Why am I not speaking up for myself? I deserve better and I'm going to advocate for myself. And if you don't like it, that's too bad for you. And I'm not saying this to be arrogant, rude, mean, disrespectful or anything. I mean, it's respectfully. People who are making it in this world right now are speaking up for themselves. They are not victims. They are using their voice. If they don't like something, they're not doing it. No is a complete sentence. If they don't like somebody, they're not around them. They're not phony. They're not fakes. We're not doing that no more. If they don't like the way a significant other is treating them, they release them to go be better, do better, get better. And, but don't come over here with that. Understand me. On this, this first, I wanted to come on here on this first day of 2023 to say this to you. You got this. But you have to put your foot down. Ain't This is not the year to be passive. This is not the year to be passive aggressive. Y'all understand me? This is not the year to be aggressive. This is the year to be assertive. That is making people understand what it is that I need. Not understand what you need. And sometimes we just not going to mesh. I love a lot of my families. I'm just a family members. I'm just not going to be around them. We ain't like minded. I love you when I see you at the cookout. But you don't need to hang at my house because we're not drinking and smoking and doing all these things that's distracting us from the great things that we want to have. And we wonder why we broke. You broke because you're smoking all day, every day, all weekend, every weekend. You broke because you're buying $13 drinks at the bar. You broke because you're spending all your money on cigars. You broke because you're spending all your money on pocketbooks that don't mean nothing with no money inside of them. You are not a victim. You're doing these things to yourself. You're in a bad relationship because you're staying in the bad relationship, not because of him or her. You're in a bad relationship because you are staying in a bad relationship. I don't drink alcohol or do drugs. Don't even like sports. I wore my new journal. I broke down last night today from now on. I'm, I am not a victim. That's right, Dane. I'm glad you're here. You're here. Looks, thank you so much. So anybody have any questions, comments, I'm telling you, I came on here to coach t- today. I'm a, I'm a life coach. I'm a life coach and I'm an executive leadership coach. I came on here today because I said, let me tell my people how they're going to go into 2023. Let them go. Whoever they are, if they're holding you down, if they ain't doing nothing, they don't need to be around you. You can see them when you see them. I'm not saying cut folks off. I love a lot of people that just ain't doing nothing. I, I, I'll see you when I see you. I see you when I put on, I put on my calendar. Today, I'm not doing nothing. I'll see you on that day. I'm strategic in my life right now, okay? There's some things that I want. I'm buying a house next year. I'm buying a house next year. I just got a Range Rover. I ain't got time for y'all, okay? Bills got to be paid. Credit got to be built up. Okay, I'm buying a house. I want another Range Rover. Defender. I want it. Can I get it now? No. 
But if I put my foot down and I stay focused, I can have whatever I want to have. And it took me years and years and years to learn this. I'm a 53-year-old woman, and I'm finally in a place where I could do some things for myself because I had a victim mentality. Oh, nobody's giving me an opportunity. Nobody's helping me. Nobody sees my greatness. I help everybody else, but nobody's helping me. Don't nobody got to help me. I'm going to help my damn self. And I mean that from the with all my heart and all my chest. There's some things that I want. There's some things that I want to do. And there's some things that I'm going to do. And I'm going to get, and I told y'all, if I got to go over, around, or through you, them, it, I'm going to do it. If you are in a company and I need something from that company and you are not the CEO of that company... I'm going to go around, I'm going to go over you. I'm going to go around you. I'm going to go through you to get to the CEO. When the CEO tells me no, then I know it's a no for me. But no, not you. I'm going to go over, around you, or through you respectfully because I know what value I bring to the table. And when you know your value and you know your worth, you go over, around, and through people who say no that don't see it. No. No. You must not know about me. You must not know who I am. Don't you know your CEO will be mad at you for telling me no? Go ask your CEO. Don't block. Don't be a gatekeeper. Needed this today. Good. Over, around, through. Over, around. Write that on your wall too. I'm going to get to mine. I, if I got to go over, around, or through. We ain't going under. We ain't going under. Over, around, or through. Because when you go under, folks, they could bury you. We're not doing that. I'm not going to take a no. If you're not the... It, you're not even a decision maker. you trying to prevent me from getting to the decision maker. You know how many times that has happened in my life and I just stopped? When a deci the decision that was made by the person who was not the decision maker. You don't even have the power and authority to make that decision. Why am I talking? I'm trying to be nice and talk to you. However, if you don't if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to go over, around, or through you to get to the CEO respectfully. Take this into 2023 with you. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Nobody can stop you but you. And you are where you are based on your choices. Last year... I should have pushed a little bit harder for some things that I wanted and I didn't. And I ran into some people that said, why didn't you call me? Because the other person told me, no, that I thought was so close to you. Why, why, why didn't you pick the phone up and call me, Trey? Because I took the first no that came my way. So that's why I'm telling y'all today on January 1, 2023, over, around, and through for me. Got some things I want to do. Some people that I know. Over, around, and through. Yes, over, around, and through. Don't get in my way. And I'm not saying I'm stepping on necks or doing anything disrespectful to anybody. It will be respectfully. Some people don't want to see you win. Because they know when you win, they won't have access to you anymore. Because they've been trying to stop you for too long. Won't take. Don't take no for an answer. Do not. Don't take no from an answer from the person who's not the decision maker. Now, if you get to the CEO and the CEO tells you no, respectfully tell them thank you. And I'll see you at the other company that I'm applying for. And you're going to wish you had hired me. You're going to wish you had gave me that grant. You're going to wish you had partnered with me. You're going to wish. But it was nice to talk to you. And when I get to where I'm going, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Don't worry about the folks that said no to you. Don't worry about the folks that didn't help you. Those are not your people. And again, get around people who are like-minded. If you're around a bunch of victims and a bunch of bums, I'm going to say it to you. If you're around a bunch of bums, bums are people that are not doing anything. They have potential, but they just choose not to do anything. That's what I consider a person that's a bum. They have full, complete health, healed, wholeness, could walk, talk, see, touch, hear, taste, and smell. Ain't handicapped, ain't disabled, none of that. And they choose to live status quo mediocre. Those not your people. You will turn into the people that you hang around. If you're around 
people as go-getters, they are going to encourage you to be a go-getter because you ain't going to want to be looking like the le weakest link. You ain't going to want to look like the weakest link. So you're going to get up, up, as I told y'all before, what my mom used to say, get off your ass and on your feet. When you're around folks that's doing stuff, because you're going to want to go where they're going. You can't go with the rest of them, to the restaurant with them if you can't split the bill. If five of y'all sitting down and you got to say, I have water and an and a appetizer, you can't go with us. Because that's not how we do things when we go out. When we go out, they bring the check and it's split however many ways, whoever's there, whatever, whoever. Hey, we ain't picking nothing because we work hard so we know that we got it. And listen to this. If a person says, I don't have it right now. We might say, oh, don't worry about it. We're going to split the check four ways. But you want to be in a position where you can sit down and slap your credit card down too or your debit card or your cash and not have a problem. But when you be around low-level people who ain't used to doing that, y'all used to sitting at the table and mine was 12 and mine was 9 and that one was 24. and this one, you, that's, that's the way you behave. But when you get around people and you see one person pull out a credit card and pay for everybody meal, you like, oh, I want to be next. These are the people I want to hang with. Like, this what I this what I want to do. And I, I'm telling you, this is... Truth, yes. It's been a struggle for me. But I decided I don't want to be the person that can't go. Or I don't want to be the person at the table embarrassing everybody because I'm looking on the bill like I didn't eat. If I got to do that, I need to stay home. I need to stay home. So I love y'all. Let me look at my notes because y'all know I always got notes because I am a 53-year-old woman and a coach. And I need to get my point across. And my point is, stop playing a victim. If you don't like something, stop doing it. If you don't like someone, stay away from them. If you don't like the way somebody treats you, let them go. If you don't like your job, get a new one. No one has authority over you but you. Nobody can do anything to you unless you allow them to. So you are not a victim when you let somebody continuously mistreat you. That's not them. That's you. You are where you are based on your choices. If you want something in 2023, I'm telling you right now, you can have it, but you're going to have to go over, around, and through some people, places, and things to get to it. And you're going to have to go by any means necessary, over, around, or through. Don't get in my way. I'm going to ask you, excuse me, can you move? But if you decide that you want to block me, I'm going to go over your head, around you, or I'm going to have to bulldoze through you. Whichever way, but I'm going to get mine in 2023. Because I've been working hard and I deserve it. I'm not asking for a handout from anybody. I get up all day, every day and work. I'm an entrepreneur. It ain't no nine to five for me. It's to open my eyes till I close my eyes. It's to open my eyes to, until it's done. That's where we at right now. Happy New Year. Remember this. It's a privilege to be in your life. It's a privilege to be in your life. I tell myself this all the time. It's a privilege to be in my life. And when I allow you space in it, what you not going to do? Because what I'm not going to do is play the victim to you. Nobody's doing anything to me that I'm not allowing. So if I sit around playing the victim, the folks that come into my life and act shady and, and shysty and be doing stuff and, and, and sidebar me and talking about me behind my back and don't have no loyalty or integrity, that's on me. I don't choose to do that anymore. I demand. I, de I have some demands in order to have the privilege to be in my life. I demand that you respect me. I demand your loyalty because I'm going to be loyal to you. I demand that you support me because I'm going to support you. Yup. I do want your support. But how else I'm going to get to where I'm going? 
So let's do this. 2023 is our year. Whatever you need, whatever you want, you could do this. Get you some people around you. Get you some mentors. Get you some coaches. Get you some training. Get you some teachers. Take you some courses. Get, get around some people that, is, that has, has done what you're trying to do. You understand me? Get around some people that is doing it well and has done what you are trying to do. And pay them to consult for you. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and take 55 years to write a book when people know how to write books. You don't have to invent the wheel when you're trying to get your credit right when they got credit experts. Get the right credit expert. Get the right business coach. Get the right life coach. But it's people out here to navigate you through these rough waters of life so you don't have to go through what they went through. But you got to invest in yourself. A lot of people don't want to pay. A lot of people don't want to pay to play. That's why they stuck, stalled, and can't get no further than they are. Because they think somebody's supposed to do something for them for free. Don't you know people out here, I got to where I'm at by paying. And what I mean by paying, hey Simone, what I mean by paying is, I want to become a certified life coach. So I had to pay for the program that was not cheap. Then I had to become an executive leadership coach because I had contracts that required me to be an exec to be a certified executive leadership coach. So I had to go pay for that course. I had to pay for my coach. I had to pay for a business coach. I had to pay for a marketing specialist. And sometimes I paid people that did not know what they was doing. That's called the school of the hard knocks. They got my money and I learned a hard lesson that they didn't know no more than what I knew. They were just smart enough to sell it to people that was dumber than them because I wasn't doing my due diligence. So people are not going to give you free what they had to pay for to get to where they are. I'm not going to give you my Rolodex when I spent the last 20 years not getting no sleep, sacrificing time with my kids to be out in these streets networking. And you want somebody number out of my Rolodex? It took me seven months to get that person's phone number and I can, they wouldn't even talk to me. I had to nurture a relationship. I had to show them my app, that value, value add so that they would want to be associated with me. And you want me to give you their number? <laughs> I paid them as painful as it was. I paid people when I wasn't broke and couldn't pay my bills. But I'm like, I need to know the next step. What's going on? What, what are y'all doing over there? It was like, well, when you get money or when you can, we be right here. But what you're not going to do is not get my resources that it took me. I had to pay folks. So I'm telling you, invest in yourself. You'll walk in rooms that you never walked in before. I'm, I'm telling you, invest. You'll meet people that you never thought you would meet. Do something for yourself. But for one, for, for 2023, don't play the victim. So, gotta go. Love y'all. I'm having an amazing end of the year. I just got some new work. That part. Yes, because I'm out here in these streets at meetings up at 5 a.m., sending out proposals i don't want it i don't want to be up at 5 a.m i don't even like to get up in the morning <laughs> but i need them coins <laughs> i need them contracts and i need them deals i need to be ready for my clients so i gotta be up and ready ain't nobody making my my content for my clients my workbooks my goals the stuff that i create from them that's in my head ain't nobody doing that for me Love your realness. Thank, thank you for being here. So subscribe if you would like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go to my website. I'm Trey Kearney all over everywhere on social media. Trey Kearney. Go, you can go check my receipts and see all about me. Ain't nothing private on my social media because I am who I am. People be like, why are your accounts um, public? Because I'm a public figure. How are people going to see what I do if I got private accounts? If your accounts are private and you are trying to do business, you're losing. You're, you're losing. 
I'm tr- I'm just I'm now about to teach business. If your accounts are private and you are trying to be any type of influencer, if you are trying to be any type of consultant, if you are trying to run a business, you need to get a public account immediately. Get a business account. But for me, my life is my business. So my clients and my people get to see all of me. Everything that I do, they get to see all of me. This is who I am. This is what I do. There's, I don't have anything to hide. Yep, I, I drink an occasional martini. I drink an occasional shot when I'm out with my girlfriends for our birthdays. I don't have nothing to hide. This is who I am. I study hard. I work hard. I'm certified, bona fide, verified. So I don't have anything to hide. But if you don't want people to see your personal business, like they like the person said, get a business account. Love, love, love. Yes. Get a business account. And, and let I share my family. I share my children. I have a son who's on the autism spectrum. There's another mother who needs to see my son on the autism. There's a mother out here who needs to see that. She has a son on the autism spectrum and she hasn't stopped her life. No, hell no. I'm still going to do my hair. I'm still going to be cute. I'm still going to put on some cute clothes. We get caught up in these titles of mother, wife, and we get frumpy and we think that we can't start businesses. She has a, you have a son on the spectrum and you have a business and you wrote a book. Yes. Yes, I did. And I do more stuff. And I I have a network, the New You Nation Network YouTube channel, where I have content for mature people. Older people who don't want to see twerking and and jumping and cussing and all that. I have a whole network that I run to. I edit, I produce, I direct. I'm the cast director, casting director. I do all of that with a child on the spectrum. So I share my son and our challenges and our wins to show other parents on the spectrum that you don't have to be limited because you have a special needs child or you have a different situation. Whatever that thing might be, whatever you're going through, push through and still do you. Do not let anything. You are here for a purpose. Don't let nobody steal your purpose. Your kids, your man, your nobody. No, I'm telling you. When I first heard my son, I was devastated. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to consume my life. And it would, and it consumed so many mothers' lives. Like you are not just an autism mom. You are not just a caregiver. You are not just a special needs parent or a, spe- or a caregiver to your elderly parent. You just have to balance things a little bit different than other people. It's hard for me. It, be, it, it get hard for me too at times. But I'm not stopping. I'm going over it, through it, or around it. I'm worth it. I get to have a life. I get to have a life. My life don't stop because of obstacles. I just got to go through the obstacle course to get to the other side. And always on the other side, there's a reward. Get you some help. I hope this was helpful to somebody. And I'll be back on on a regular basis starting tomorrow. I haven't been on here because I've been really busy with the network. I've been really busy with the new show. I've been really busy structuring with, for my clients um, and the new you nation. Um, thank you, Simone. And you schedule your um, session soon. Um, and I want to do another session. I want to do a, a session with you, Simone, a 45 minute session. I want to give you another session because we need to get you in a group. And I need to know, have you been on the site and are you doing the work, the workbooks that are in there? Have you gotten them and what do you need help with? So, I love y'all. If you need a coach, I'm here for you. If you don't, that's cool too. I'll be on here to give you little nuggets. But if you want a deeper dive, please feel free to reach out to me. Email me, Trey at TreyKearney.com. Trey at TreyKearney.com. I'm praying for y'all. Yeah, schedule it today. I'm praying for y'all. I'm really praying for y'all. I really be praying for folks because I believe prayer works. Even if you don't believe, I'm a believer. So I believe that prayer works. So I'll be praying for folks that send me messages and say, you know, I'm having a hard time. I can't afford it. I'll be like, God bless them. Because Lord knows that I can't coach for free because I got to take care of my kids and my family and my house. So I ask God, bless them so that they can have the resources to work with me if they so desire. And God has blessed some folks. I was like, oh, 
So she said she ain't have it. <laughs> but okay, Jesus. So any questions, anybody? Questions, comments, thoughts, reactions? Happy New Year. This is going to be the best year of your life. This is going to be the best year of your life. I promise you this will be the best year of your life if you stop playing a victim. I, I, if you stop playing a victim and invest in yourself... It will be the best year of your life. I'm telling you because I'm doing it. I have to. I still. I'm still invested in myself. I still got to pay coaches and marketing people and PR people. And the PR package, I love it, Simone. Girl, we gotta really talk because you you be playing. You play too much. That's all I gotta say. You play too much. You way ahead of the game and you don't even know it. I received that in the name of Jesus. Yes, Martin. Yes, Martina. Is it Martina? Is it Martina or is it Martin? Let me know because I want to say it right because I want you to receive it. Martina, yes. In the name of Jesus, it is yours. I declare and decree that anything you want, you could have. Anything. I'm not playing. Girl, I know. But I don't think you know you. I don't think you see your full potential. Like you a bad chick. Like your packaging and everything. You just... Now that I see, I just need, when I'm, like when my clients send me stuff, I can look under the hood and say, oh, that's where her core genius is. This is where she excels. You might be staying away from things because you want something else, but sometimes you got to go through the thing that you don't want to go through to get to the thing that you want. You understand? Sometimes you got to go through the thing that you don't want to go through to get to the thing that you sincerely desire. But there's a lesson in the things that we go through. That teaches us for the things that we want before we get to them and we're not prepared. There's some things, some jobs I took like business coaching. I like it, but it's not my core genius. It's not, it does, it's not my, my passion, my purpose, right? But it's gotten me to other things that I want to do. I enjoy it. And then I learned on that journey that when I do business coaching, it actually intertwines with life coaching because my business clients need life coaching so they get some life coaching in the business coaching. And I'm like, oh, this is where your stop is. Because if your personal life is not together, you cannot thrive in business. Somebody say hallelujah and amen on this Sunday. If your personal life is in the shambles, you are not going to thrive in your business. It's going to affect your money and your bottom line. Get your personal life together. I promise you, that's why life coaching works. When I first got on this journey and I got my coach who I was with last night, I had the pleasure of being with her. We went to a wedding and I just, my life was in the shambles. So my money was funny because my personal life was affecting my professional life more than I knew. I was like, wait a minute, like what is going on? I'm busting my butt and I'm still, but my personal life was so bad. It was leaking over into my professional life. But when I got my personal life together, let me tell you. Door started opening, zero started coming, and that's just the truth. And it's only getting better because I still got room to grow. Hey, Triple Threat, Happy New Year. User 375 said, wow, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was a helpful wow. True, it's the journey. Yes, it is, Got Keys. Yes, it is. It is the journey and what you learn on it. So 2022, 2023, 2022 was gone. 2023 is here. And if you want to have, be, go, or do anything you can, and your mantra for 2023 is, I'm going to get mine, regardless of what, if I got to go over, around, or through, this my year. Over, around, or through. I don't care who, respectfully, if you are just in the way, move, because I'm coming through. If you think you're going to stop me, because a, a lot of people are crabs in the barrel. If you think you're going to stop me, I'm going to go over your head and talk to your boss. No, you're not the decision maker. Why are you blocking me from the decision maker? Why you don't want to see me win? Because if you don't want to see me win, you're not going to win. And I will go completely around you. Over, around, and through. Let's do this, okay? Love y'all. Happy New Year 2023. Brr! I wish I had a horn. Well, I wasn't here last night. Oh, let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this real quick, then I'm gonna go. 
my friend Nakia, Simone knows Nakia, Nakia, the one that did the uh, support your girlfriends. She renewed her 20 year vows yesterday. And when I tell you, nobody does it like Nakia. Yes, a powerful woman. Thank you. Nobody does it like Nakia. They had the wedding vow renewal. Then they had the reception. And then they had the New Year's Eve party. So we was in the vow where they did the vows. Then we moved to the reception. And then it was time for New Year's. They opened up a wall. And it was a whole nother room set up with more food, more lights, all the New Year's Eve stuff. I was like, yo, this... This is it right here. And I said, if this is the pre-show for 2023, let's go. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. If this is the pre-show of what I'm seeing tonight, <laughs> come on, come on, come on through, Jesus. Your girl is ready. So I ask that God, and this is for my believers and for my non-believers, I'm still going to ask for you too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him on behalf of my faith. I ask that God make this the best year of your life, that you will have love, happiness, and prosperity, that everything you put your hand on turns to platinum, not gold, not silver, platinum, that there will be zeros added to your bank account like never before, that you will be unstoppable, that you will believe in yourself that anything is possible as long as you believe, that you will love yourself, that you will require people to honor respect you and be loyal to you and that you will let folks go to let them grow as you elevate you will bring people up with you who are willing to do the work and that as you elevate you will let people go that are not ready to grow and you will not feel no kind of way about it you will not feel guilty embarrassed or ashamed because you're ready to grow higher do things have things go places be new and elevate your brand to the next level i ask that god would bless the work of your hands tenfold everything that you touch I ask that he will bless your family. I ask that he will give those houses, buy houses, not rent, to those who want a home for themselves and their family. I ask that the person who needs a new vehicle that is working hard, that God will bless you with the money for that new vehicle. Those who need jobs that are willing to work hard, I ask that God will bless you for the, with the opportunity of a lifetime that you never thought that you would ever see. I ask that those who want to start businesses, that a seed will be planted for you of $10,000 or more. I ask you, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch the hard workers. You understand? Listen, if you are working hard, there will be reward for you. Just get up and stop playing the victim. Just get up and start working one step at a time, one baby step, one baby step. If you want to write a book, write a word. If you want to write a book, write the title. If you want to start a business, Google, how do I start a business? If you want to start a business, go get your tax ID number. Do something so that God will honor my request because you're working hard. You understand? I praise him. Praise him right now. That's right, Simone. Praise him in your car. As long as you take one step, God will take five, not two. As long as you take one step, he will take five. He will get you further faster than you ever thought that he could or would as long as you're doing the work. Too many people don't have what they want and don't have what they deserve, don't have what they desire, don't have what God promised them, the abundant life, because you're not willing to do the work and move your foot one step at a time. I'm not telling you to eat the whole elephant. I'm telling you to take one bite at a time, but you have to move. And everything that you want will come to you. And if you can't do it, if you don't know how, ask for help. Say, I don't know how to get a tax ID number. I don't know how to write a book. I don't know what a business plan looks like. I don't know what to do with my autistic child. I don't know what to do with my sick parent. If you don't know, you don't know. Ask for help. That is your block. If you are stuck where you are. It's not because you're stuck. It's because you're staying. Ain't none of us stuck nowhere. We are not rooted. Any, we are not a plant. We are not a tree. 
So I'm encouraging you. And taking a step does not always mean doing something or paying for something. It means if you don't know, take the step of asking somebody. If you have been moving and moving and running and running and running and doing and doing and, and nothing's working for you, you're the person who needs to sit still and get somebody in your corner to teach you. Because you're on a hamster wheel. You're, you're just doing, I'm busy. Busy doesn't always mean productive. I don't know who that was for, as they say. But busy does not always mean productive. I've been a busy person and ain't get nothing done. Sitting in front of the computer just as busy on social media as a bee. Don't feel ashamed or embarrassed to ask for help. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. And listen, to those of you who have good job, decent money, you got money in the bank, and you can afford to pay somebody, a, a coach, even if it's not me, a course, a teacher, a co if you can pay, don't doubt it. That's your problem. You're doubting Thomas. That's why you can't get nowhere because you got the money. You're like, let me check this out. That's why you stuck. If you got the money, invest in a life coach, a business coach. If you're a business person and your business is falling apart, a finance coach, whatever it is that you need. If you have the money, invest in it. Invest in yourself. You stuck because you stuck on stupid. And I don't mean to call you stupid, but I'm saying you stuck on stupid. You're not stupid, but you're stuck on stupid because you're paying for material things with all of that money. You got a BMW outside. You got the big house. You got another car. You traveling all the time. You got a Louis Vuitton bag and a Gucci bag. You got red bottoms and polka dots and all kind of stuff. You got Balenciaga and, and Fendi and all these name brand perfumes. And you ain't got your life in order because you like, I'm not paying for that. You're paying for things that bring you no return on investment, no value. You're going to get older and you're going to need to do something after, after your career. What does that look like? Where are you going? What do you do day to day? How do you plan your life? This is what, this is what we this is why God designed us and created life coaches and active. They call me an activator, life coaches and activators and different things of that nature because people need people. Just like I need a cardiologist if my heart is bad. Just like I need a baker if I need a birthday cake. It's that simple. Just like I need a therapist if I'm having certain thoughts. You understand what I'm, I'm, I'm just saying to you? Just like I need a photographer if I'm giving an event and I need pictures to be taken. We all have a purpose and we just have to tap into everybody's purpose. I need you for this because you were created to do that. So, y'all kept me on here a little bit longer because I started preaching again. But what is your legacy? Right. What is your legacy? Yes. Okay, so I wanted to start a wellness store and I don't have money. How do I get a loan to open one? Send me an email, Trey at TreyKearney.com, right? Just send me an email. And listen, go online and say, how do you get a loan to open up a store, a wellness center. Go do your due diligence. You may not even need good credit, but you got to go do the work. Go online, Google University. I use it all the time. I graduated from Google University. I'm trying to get my master's degree from there. Whenever I don't know something, I go on there and I'll Google who knows how to get a loan. And finance coaches will pop up or finance specialists will pop up. Who knows? Just like you Google a cardiologist and all of the cardiologists in your area come up, go on there and Google, how do I get a loan? And then you can put in keywords on what kind of loan do you want? How much of a loan do you want? And then you can look and they can say, to get this loan, your credit score needs to be a 700. What does your credit score look like? Do you have credit cards? Then you need to start building your credit. There is a blueprint to everything. And if you can't afford to pay people, then you got to go to Google University and you have to do the work yourself. Because if somebody tells you how to do it, they are your consultant. And they're going to want to be paid to go do the due diligence for you. Because now they're working for you because they got to go find the loans for you. That's why you hire a coach, a consultant, a, a, a specialist, because they're going to do the work for you. But if you don't have the money, then you got to go do it yourself until you get enough money to sit down with somebody for two hours to say, hey, 
I want to do a VIP session. I don't, this is how much money I got. What does this get me? Because people want money. People want to get paid for their services. I got $500. How, what I get for this? What can you, is it going to be a return on my investment? That's all I need to know. When I'm working with somebody, what I'm getting from this? I'll give you my money. I'll give you my money. But I need to know that it's going to be some results. Hey, I love your hair. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Look for grants too, yes. But looking for a grant, when you look for grants, find out what you need to get the grant because they might want your tax returns and you don't have a business, right, for a grant. They might want some things that you can start working on getting, right? They might want a tax ID number. So you're going to have to just go do your research in order to find out what it is that you actually need to get what you want. I hope that was helpful. Check your local library. Some have business centers or days to help you with your business. Yeah, check everywhere. You just got to Google who helps with business loans. And, and a whole lot of stuff will pop up. And you're going to have to take the time to sit there and do that. Or you're going to have to pay me to go and do that for you. The EIN is free. Yes, it is free. So hopefully that was helpful. If not, like I said, email me. I'll be more than happy to see what resources I have. But again, my people, the coaches and people that I work with, they're going to want to be paid to work with, for you to work with them for their services. And it's, it's only fair, but I may have some information. Hey, little bit. I'm about to hop off now. You just coming on. Hey, so again, love y'all subscribe to my TikTok if you would like to. And I'll see y'all soon. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. I had a wonderful New Year. And I'm just expecting that. And, and be expected, right? And what you expect is coming, right? I'm expecting this to be the best year of my life. I'm expecting some things from God. I'm expecting some zeros on my bank account. I'm expecting a new home. I'm expecting some things. They're coming because I'm expecting them. You know how you're expecting company at your house? You know they're coming, so you're expecting them. So they're going to get there eventually. Be expecting. I'm expecting. Love it. Me too. Yeah, I'm expecting a husband. So he coming. He gonna, I don't know if he's going to knock on that door, but I'm expecting him to show up somewhere where I'm at. Or I'm expecting him to be the UPS man. I don't know, but I'm expecting him. I'm manifesting him and I'm looking for him. And I know he coming. So I'm like, let me be ready. Let me keep my body in shape. Let me keep my home clean. Let me be, let me be a wife. Because I'm expecting a husband. I can't be expecting something. I can't be expecting a loan and I don't have a business plan. Do you have a business plan for the loan that you're expecting? Because I can't expect it to come and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. God meets you at your level of expectancy. Yes, yes, he does. So be expecting. God, listen, let me tell y'all something too. Don't be expecting nothing little. I'm not expecting no little house. I'm expecting a house that's going to be adequate for me and my two boys. And one of them is on a spectrum. And I want a full basement for him with everything sensory in it. A trampoline, a swing, a rock climbing wall. And I'm talking about a rock climbing wall because he liked to climb. I need a, a balancing bar. I need a trampoline that's built in the floor. I need a swimming pool. I'm expecting that because that's what my son needs. And God says, if I ask in the name of Jesus and it is his will, it shall be done. So I am expecting that in 2023. And when I come on here in 2023, September, October, I'm going to walk y'all through my house with the trampoline in the floor. I'm going to walk y'all through my house. I'm going to walk y'all through my backyard with the jungle gym for him. I'm going to walk y'all through his room that's special where he can go in and out of his bathroom so we can teach him. I'm expecting. So, Ray, yes, raise your level of expectation. What you expect is coming. Don't be, don't be asking God for little stuff. Don't make him no little God because he don't like that either. Like, that's all? You want a $1,000? I was thinking about multi-millions for you. But if you want a thousand, here you go. No, Jesus, I'm a multimillionaire. I'm expecting them zeros at the end of my bank account in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. And I'm willing to work for it. I'm not expecting a handout. I get up and I work. 
So while I'm working, I can expect that it's coming. If it's $1 a day, I'm expecting it because I'm working and it's coming. And I know God is going to say, here's another opportunity, Trey. And here's a bigger opportunity, Trey, because I see you. Let's go with that network. Here we go. Yes, you're helping black men. Let's go with that network. They need you. So you out here advocating and people out here talking crazy to you and you walking through the trenches for these brothers. I got you. Keep going. Even though it's hard and they saying stuff and they calling you pick me's and all of this other stuff and they talking about keep going. This is your work. Be careful what you ask for. Yes, because it will come. We serve a great big God who created the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof. Yes, and he said, speak it. He said, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be millions in my bank account. Let my children be healthy. Let my family and friends be healthy. Let my home be huge. Let my, the labor of my hands be fruitful. Let there be. Let there be provision for everybody that is listening to me right now. Let their seeds grow. Let their seeds be watered with greatness. Let them be surrounded with greatness. Let the people around them be great. Declare it and decree it. Say it out loud. Walk through your house and say, I'm in my mansion. Speak it. Don't be afraid. Go start seeing houses. Go start seeing them. Go start walking on the land that you want. Go start researching the business that you want. Start calling people who are doing what you're doing. Start introducing yourself in rooms. If Oprah can have it, so can we. If Beyonce can have it, so can we. You know why they got it? Because they tapped into their gift and their purpose. And they went over, around, and through anything that was trying to stop them. You know why Oprah is where she is? You know why Beyonce, Tyler Perry? You know why they are where they are? Because they tapped into their talents and their gifts. And they, and they talked about their experiences and they went over, through, and around anybody who tried to stop them. They told Oprah she was too ugly. They had told Oprah she wasn't for TV. Tyler Perry was sleeping in a car. Nobody wanted to help him, but he went over, through, and around. I'm going to be in this little theater. I'm going to dress up like Medea. Okay, people be mad at Beyonce, but that girl been on her craft and skills and rehearsing and practicing since she was a baby. She ain't stopped. She don't get up there and sing and dance and not be out of breath because she ain't rehearsing. We looking at people, oh, they lucky. No, they not lucky. They going over, around, and through. They are diligently honing in on their skills. They are working hard every day. They're getting up at five o'clock in the morning. They're grinding and God is multiplying them over and over and over and over again because they're getting up and they're doing something. They're not playing a victim. Oh, my Beyonce could be sitting right here. Oh, my father cheated on my mother and it devastated me. We go through things. We all do. Yes, people cheat. Life happens. People die. When you get out of that victim mentality, the sky is the limit. As a matter of fact, there ain't no limit. You go beyond the stars and find out what's up there. That's what we doing. Over, around, and through. Okay? Love y'all. Happy New Year. Peace and blessings. I will see y'all tomorrow, God willing. Remember what I tell you at the end of all my broadcast. You deserve the best. Yes, I'm talking to you. You deserve the best. Now go get it. Peace and blessings. 2023, we are ready, willing, and able to go over, around, and through anything that would try to stop us. We are unstoppable. We will not stop until we have, until we go, until we do, until we are where we want to be in this life. We will have everything if we just believe in ourselves. I believe in me, and I believe in you. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.